Yeah, I'm not to be able to set up. This is my network cabinet. Um, and mind you, that noise is actually coming from the UPS. It's not the network cabinet itself. And the microphone kind of exaggerates the noise. It's really not that loud. Uh, but yeah, this is it. And I'm going to switch over to my PC and I'll show you what all this looks like. All right. All right, so here's my attempt at my network solution. I've got the Ubiquiti Unify ecosystem that I've decided to go with. Got a little legend here that kind of describes what is going on in the setup. So in my setup, I've got two access points, uh, one on the top floor to cover the upstairs area and one on the ground floor to cover the downstairs area. I quickly learned that uh, when I had only one access point, either on the top floor or on the bottom floor, some of the areas in the house, the signal is really weak, so this works really well. So these APs are PoE access points, uh, which is really neat. I don't need any extra power adapters connected to them. They just get powered by the Ethernet cable. And here I've got the 16-port gigabit switch, also by uh, Unify, and it's got the 16, it was the one essentially uh, provides the POE capability. Then I've got the, uh, the main rotor, which is the Unified Security Gateway. This one then connects to the ISP's router to supply me with some internet. And I think that's basically it here. And there's nothing else special about it. All right, now let's move on to the fun part, the app, the controller software that comes with Ubiquiti Unify. So I've set up a little Ubuntu server here. Um, that has my controller that's hosting this. So it's gonna open there for us. Cool. And then here's the landing area. And you can see everything is performing quite great based on this thing. It runs some random tests. So we'll navigate quickly through this uh, setup. So this is the main um, landing area. Then here you see the network topology. And it's quite neat how it all. Uh, it's kind of interactive. Um, I kind of like it. It's pretty cool fun to play with. So like I showed you in this diagram, when you've got this guy, the USG, this is this dude. Then if I expand that, it will expand Draco. Draco is this guy. And then if I expand that guy, then you have all these other devices that are connected via Ethernet, which is then you get this, this. I didn't show the extra switch in this diagram because I'll put that later. But this one is extending extra ports in the downstairs area to connect other devices. Uh, because I only ran one cable, I could only run one Ethernet cable uh, there. There, more cables could not fit. Then I've got the access points. I've got Aura and Vela. So this is quite interactive. And then here's the outdoor access point that I actually purchased after the fact. So this little guy is pretty cool. Then you get a floor plan as well. So yeah, floor plan, you could take something like this and uh, draw up your house floor plan and then you can kind of drop all these access points and then Unify will kind of help you and show you where you should lay out your items. Then you've got the devices section. These are the actual devices on the ecosystem or in my network solution. If I go to the wired, you see I've got uh, Draco, Lynx and Pegasus. This is the main router supplying the internet access. This is, this is an extra switch that I plugged in downstairs to connect other devices. The main purpose for this one, I'm gonna, it's going to be like behind the media section by the TV. So it'll connect the TV, the Xbox, my sound bar, and whatever else on those four ports, four ports via uh, internet cable. Because uh, I do avoid going Wi-Fi if I can, even though these access points are pretty, are pretty good. Then this is the main switch that I, I have everything connected to. Then I've got these three access points, um, Aura, Gleese, and Vela. Um, so and they look exactly like this. So the Unify uh, controller software is really, really cool. And uh, the way it looks, then you can go do a whole bunch of configurations and settings um, on this. Set up the power output and, and so on. I won't get into those details. Then clients, and then it's just the clients that are connected to your network essentially and when you hover over an item you can block it you can reconnect it for whatever reason uh, you might want to reconnect the device block it if you don't know it or don't trust it anymore so this is pretty neat and you can navigate to see which one of the wired ones 
and then filter down to which are the wireless ones. Quite straightforward. Here are some stats, some more geeky stats. So I think we all love dashboards. So you've got these stats, overall traffic coming in, and the categories. So that's pretty cool. I think you can scroll down or not on this one. Oh yeah, they actually it's here where you can add more of these dashboard items, or you can clear if you want to reset this dashboard. And you got more geeky stats per for the system performance. Here, I think you can even filter down to the different devices on your ecosystem to see how they are performing. Um, so this is quite neat. Just more freaking stats. It's just insane. Overkill for home setup. Yeah, I think so. But that's what geeks do. Um, and this thing gradually checks my. It does speed, speed test automatically. I think every 12 hours, I've set it up to test every 12 hours. And then we can show you what's going on. So you can see here, I've got a 100 meg uh, down and 20 up. So that's quite cool. And I've been happy with that. This debugging metrics, I don't know what these are. I've never explored much. But again, more geeky stats. Dashboards are always cool. They make things look interesting. Um, these are the insights to show you which device is busy on the network. Um, so you can see, at least for now, Taika, you know, it's my little brother's machine. I think it resets every hour. I think this shows for 24 hours. I can't remember now. But again, we have access to block a device. And the important part here, you can see the traffic for each device. Um, yes, events, what is going on on your network. Unless anything suspicious happens, it will show up. This gets really busy when you enable the intrusion protection or something like that. If you go to the uh, settings um, and if you look for the intrusion, um, uh, like there we go, this guy, threat management. Yeah, so if you switch this guy on and it gets really, really busy. Uh, right now, I've got the small USG, so it's not really powerful enough. When I switch it on, my internet takes a beating, so I've switched it off for now, which leads us to the next point that I've set up. I've set up another one called, uh, this is my network, I've got admin. This, I've set up this uh, pie hole. This helps me out in blocking um, ads and tracking um, those really blacklisted items in this it's a community project, so if you just Google Pyhole, you quickly find it. So it, today it's got over 2 million uh, blacklisted um, DNS entries. And it's not doing very well today, but some cases it actually goes all the way up to 60% blocked requests. Um, as you can see, adult, adult sites are blocked through this. Um, so ads and tracking, if you look at the query log, you can really see actively what it's busy doing and if you see there's something that shouldn't have been allowed to do you just quickly just click on blacklist 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 gets added to the blacklist next time your machine or any of your nodes on your network try to make a request to that same address they will essentially want to make you through so this thing really works well and i've been i've been enjoying it so this is network wide ad blocking essentially so any device that's connected to my network either it's wired or wireless um at least most of the ads are essentially just blocked and it's got a little neat dashboard here that shows you the temperature and i kind of use this as well to see the temperature in my network cabinet the one that i showed you earlier at the beginning of this video so that's pretty cool i'm actually thinking of getting a uh, thermostat i don't know what you call it thermostat that will add into my network cabinet so i get the accurate reading of the cabinet temperature and then I'm yet to get some fans, but I'm still debating on that fact because I don't want too much noise in there because that thing is sitting in my bedroom. But so far, it's actually quite quiet. So like I mentioned earlier, the noise is actually coming from uh, the, what you call this, the um, UPS. Cool. And I think that's about it here. Yeah, you just always explore on your own after you've Googled it. And the other thing that I'd like to show you that I've set up as well on this network solution is in the let's see, drive Dev tools and go to iPerf. So iPerf is like a local um, uh, network utility software. I've created a little script to do a speed test on my local network so it doesn't hit the interwebs per se. So you can see here I've got gigabits um, 
in a uh, network solution and I can see I'm getting at least maximum so my speed is, is pretty good and I've set the same thing up on my phone so I'll show you that on my phone as as well so with that we're gonna switch over to my phone and I'll show you what that looks like there because I have the controller software and also I've set up iperf on the phone as well to test the speeds there but yeah this is basically it nothing too fancy and uh, yeah overkill for home office yeah maybe but it's still a fun project nonetheless i had a great time setting this up anyway let's switch over to my phone all right so here we are on my phone i'm gonna start the unify controller software here as well mobile app sweet we are all connected so there we go and if we just go to the clients you can see all and basic stats over here nothing fancy big compared to what we saw on the on the pc again just some more geeky stats similar stats to what we saw earlier and you can see the categorization here as well and at the bottom of the dashboard is where we're from you can see the most active clients right now at the bottom here you can actually see and then deep packet inspection you can actually see what sites are being visited there then if i go to devices this will show you the actual devices again that are on my network and we've been through these already um and we go to um, the control here you can set up new uh networks i've set up uh, that network and i've got two um ssids so i think that's about it nothing fancy here uh, other thing i'd like to show you that i've set up again was the iperf that i have here as well that i've set up and there we go it's set up to uh, ping my server that i've set up locally and again this is testing the network locally and i can see the throughput of my actual access points right now so they are pretty good if i look at those speeds and it's a good indicator to see why I don't need to invest in a gigabit line. This is doing just fine because my hardware is limiting me there, at least in the context of this phone. Um, finally, what else what I can I show you? I can go and perform a speed test. Well, speed tests are cool. You can use this Ookla. Speed what what. And there we go. So it's performing at maximum. I've got a 100 meg line. I think I showed this earlier already. So you can see the phone is not doing too badly over Wi Fi. So this is perfect. I'm quite happy with this setup. Um, I wish I had 100 up and down, but our provider does not have that. So yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you.